Cubes themselves can contain many calculations which are used by the business regularly, but they will never contain every calculation you may require on a day-to-day -day basis. Excel Cubed allows you to add your own calculations internally to the dynamic Excel Cubed grids. So in this example, we want to compare the performance of Warehouse to that of Value Added Reseller. So I click on Warehouse, go to the Grid ribbon, and select Column Calculation. We get an additional column which we can rename by overtyping the word Calc. So let's call it Warehouse versus VAR. In the cell below, I can specify the calculation I want it to use. We will make this equal to the warehouse minus the VAR, all divided by the VAR to give us the percentage difference between the warehouse and the value added reseller. We can now change the default formatting to be percentage by double clicking on the column header and picking the number format. Now we can select percentage and one decimal place. We can drill down into this report and as you can see the calculation will carry on down so it is truly a dynamic calculation. We may also want to see how this performance changed over time. So we'll take date and move it to the left of reseller type. Now we can change the selection for date and choose the range of years. In this case I'll choose 2012 to 2016. As you can see, the calculation is now repeated for every year. And if we no longer need the calculation, we can right click on the calculation title cell, so warehouse versus VAR, and in the Excel cube menu, we choose calculation and then delete calculation. This was a very straightforward example. In reality, the calculation could contain anything you can do in Excel, from simple addition and division to sums or even VLOOKUPs to bring non-cube information into the grid.